Now, is it okay if I spoil the ending to the story for you? All right, let me just tell you the rest of the story real quick. God never found a physical people. He tried. He gave, he gave Israel every chance in the world. He gave them the oracles of God. He blessed them. He brought them out of bondage. He did miracles for them. He fed them in the wilderness. He gave them manna. He gave them, his te he gave them the temple. I mean, God did everything one could possibly do. But you know what? They were too wicked. They were too sinful. And so what God ended up having to do, because there, were, there was no race of people, there was no physical line that would serve God, that would follow God, do things that God wanted to do. So you know what God had to do? God had to start a new line. And he started it with his son, Jesus Christ. And now what God has ended up finding is not a physical people, but a spiritual people from all races of people, from every group that we see in Genesis chapter 10, God, God has people from all of those lines, people who are of faith, a spiritual people. But here's the thing too, when God created man, what did God do in the beginning of the garden? God walked with man in the garden, didn't he? But God hasn't been able to do that since then because man's too sinful. We can't handle the presence of a holy God. So what's amazing, and I hate to ruin the end of the story for you, but one of these days, God's gonna change those people, the spiritual people. God's gonna give them a new physical body at the resurrection, isn't he? God's gonna transform our bodies into a body like Christ. And then, Eventually, after the millennium, after everything's all done, after he's put all things under his feet, after he finally defeats death for the last time, it all gets cast like a fire, God himself is gonna dwell with us on this earth. He's gonna be dwelling with the people, finally. But notice that the people God's gonna dwell with, it has nothing to do with a bloodline. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. It is about a people of faith. And folks, there is no physical line that are God's people. Calling the Jews God's chosen people because of their physical bloodline, not only is it just complete biblical ignorance, it is heresy to think that. It goes, it flies in the face. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, God's people are a spiritual people and God knew it was always gonna be that way. That's why God chose Abraham. Why? Because of his faith. It, God, God, knew it was, God knew what he was going to do from the beginning. But God went, did all those things in the Bible to teach us our need for a Savior.